All right, everybody, welcome back this fine Monday evening to another episode of Let's Talk About Lego with uh, me, Jason, your host tonight, and uh, Brooke Monarch. Um, so let's uh, let's just jump into it. Let's get Brooke Monarch right on here. He's ready to go. What's up, man? How you doing, man? Pretty good. All right. Uh, just welcoming people in. Do you want to let them know what we're talking about tonight? Yeah, the sub-theme of town, Outback. So, <laughs> Outback, man. I mean, I'm going to venture to say not a lot of people even know this is a theme. <laughs> I know. I'm aware. Yeah. So... I'm really excited to dig into it because it's pretty obscure and underrated. Yeah, I would say so. Um, they kind of came and went really quick. And I, I thought that there could have been a few more sets that came out with it. Absolutely. Um, because originally, originally there was just the three that, okay, that were yeah. the primaries, the, uh, the airstrip, the helicopter, and the Amazon crossing. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Those are like the core sets. Yeah. Yeah. And then the uh, the other the other two were just kind of like afterthoughts, I feel like. One of them like doesn't quite fit, really. <laughs> no, and, yeah, it doesn't fit at all. Yeah, we'll get into that one. I think it's the news crew one that's like, what? why is this one here? <laughs> um, boom! So, cool <laughs> with bricks. It's that time again. Whatcha, Jason? Whatcha, Andrew? Whatcha, chat? And then most underrated city sub theme from uh, Curacross. Curacross. Um, and then we got ABC Builds in the house. Uh, I never knew about this theme. Looking forward to learning uh, more about it from Fooling with Bricks. And then Mason P says, love out yeah. back. Amazon Crossing was the best. Yeah, so we got some Amazon. Yeah. We got some, we got some, uh, some Outback fans in the chat. Let's let's talk about let's talk about this real quick because we yeah. have we have only five sets really to go over on this and sure. give our opinion. <laughs> um, you know, it's sad. I've noticed on Instagram and just talking with people in general about Lego that they mm -hmm. don't actually know about all the Lego. Like the only the the only one that ever surprised me that you brought to my attention was the Weedabix Castle. Right, I remember that. Yeah, right? I brought that but one out all of the, the other, All the other sets, like back to like when I was born, like I know very well, all across the board. Yeah. City, space, pirate, castle. You know what I'm saying? You know there's, people, there's people now that are on Instagram and doing right. lives that don't have any idea about some sets that came out in like the 90s. Sure, or even some themes. Like... Uh, I, yeah, I well, like, I mean, I feel like there's a 50 50 population of like diehard fans and like people that are just like, oh, I kind of like doing this. Sure. Well, here's what I would say I would, I would maybe create or dig into that a little bit more, unpack that uh, some more, would be almost less maybe a diehard thing because there's some pretty diehard fans now that um, are adult fans, but they don't know much about the past. This is where I kind of draw, uh, find a separation between people, especially adult fans of Lego. There's fans that were fans as kids. That's me and you and a lot of people. And then there's fans that got into the hobby for the first time as an adult. And I think yeah. that's where you're going to find people where, you know, they're just not necessarily <laughs> going to know about a ton of the past things that happened. And that kind of makes more sense to me because, um, I mean, like, some people aren't going to get into Lego and be like, oh, or any hobby and be like, oh, I need to go back and, like, read every single thing that was in this hobby or go back and play every single game that I'm interested in now that I just got into it. Some people are like that. Some people just enjoy what's out there. So, but I, I, I feel you, man. And it always kind of someone who's grown up with it. It feels yeah. weird to, to run into someone my same age. Who's like, what, what's, what's classic castle? Like what's, what's pirates? Lego had pirates. It's like, yeah. yes, yes. <laughs> let me, let me share you the treasures with you. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I agree. Barry, I wasn't calling you out specifically, so you know. <laughs> I was just saying, like, in general. <laughs> Barry, Barry knows a lot. Barry knows what's up. This theme, here's the thing, though. Even 
like pretty diehard fans, even fans that kind of grew up with it. They, they, they either forgot about Outback or didn't realize it wasn't just part of city or they just, yeah, Dude, like they, it's very, how could, how could you forget that yellow truck? I mean, I don't, but I'm just saying some people are different. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I mean, that yellow truck was something else. Like, it was just awesome. Awesome as a kid. The little, the uh, the one in the Amazon or the, yeah, the Amazon, Amazon crossing. crossing. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. four by four or whatever. I love that truck. Yeah, it's killer. Love the little uh, shock pieces. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Those are so cool. Um, let's see we got. So, Barry, yeah. Yeah, we weren't going after anyone in particular. We were just saying, like, there's. There's different groups of people, and it's it, it's always surprising sometimes to us when we're like, "Hey, what about this?" And they're like, "I don't know." <laughs> so, but that's what we're here for, man. I mean, and that's what we're specifically zeroing out on these old school themes. So we're like steeping ourselves in it, even though we grew up in it. Now we're getting back into like more of the lore, getting looking back at all of this stuff. So it's part of our lives almost on a daily basis. Um, so it kind of is. It's it's always kind of odd to. To, to, to realize there's a whole group of a whole faction of people out there that are like, yeah, the new stuff's good. I don't know what you're talking about. So um, good evening, gentlemen, ABC builds Beasley brick says side note, uh, but I just got the Dino Island adventure set behind you in the mail today. Dude, have fun building it. Yeah. I just uh, switched them out. I like switching out. I like keep people on their toes. Throw it. You got, check this out. Ooh, we got the, uh, the, uh, the native American one up there too. So. I, I try to try to keep it keep it fun back there, um, but man, yeah, enjoy that. That's gonna be fire. That's a fun set to build. Uh, Robert Atterbury, I like the Outback Racer set. Yeah, that's a that's one of the very few sets they did, um, and it's a fun one too. Yeah, it's cute. Yeah, um, I like learning from the diehards. Yeah, well, we'll try to do our best to to let people know what was back in the day. Um, uh, quite an underdog. ABC Bill says this theme is quite an underdog, but solid few sets. I totally agree. Agreed. Yeah. Do you want to? Yeah, let's jump into the first one here. You want to just uh, talk about the airstrip? Oh, you want to do? I do you want to go through just those ones, or do you want to go through the smallest to biggest? No, nah, we can just we'll just run down through. We'll hit the airstrip first. Okay. So, um, few things few things yeah. on the outback airstrip yeah so there's a you know the hot rod club that came out uh in town these are basically the minifigs from that set right you know <laughs> you got the green yeah. the green vest with the white arms uh with the pockets in it and then the black leather coat with the red underneath yep um, which was cool because it was, it was, this was, this was right at like a turning point of uh, printed faces uh, that were different around that period. You know, you started getting the sunglass guys and it was the same sunglasses on the same head for like a long while. Yeah, it took a while. But you, you put a new hairpiece on or a hat and it was a right. totally different person. Yeah. Um yeah, because it was a while before they did, I think it was a blue sunglasses with like a stubble yeah. guy a little later on. Yeah. Something else that is really cool. Well, there's two other things that I, I really want to point out about this set. One is the airplane, classic Lego airplane. Yeah, totally. That makes you, that makes you look at it and go, what kind of compartment does it have in the backside? Yep, which How it does. does it together? You can see right here yeah. in a little call out, it's got a loading bay yeah. in the back. Yep. Which yeah, is super I remember. Awesome. And then my other point, my other point on this was the octane canister. Dude, I love that. Yeah, it's such a good little feature. I know it is. It's a great little thing. And and when when octane was big in lego like across the board in city everywhere right yeah you'd get random sets like the racer sets and things like this that didn't have any octane on them but they had like the little can that was the white green and red or whatever and you knew that it was octane that's the coat that's that's the cohesion that i talk about all the time yeah that i yeah. love about lego <laughs> so that was that was super cool yeah yeah um yeah it's like it's like um it's similar to 
a little bit to finding like that crusader knight floating down the river in the era the forestman's river fortress it's yeah. like it's joining that together it's a little callback to like oh there's other things happening in this big world here so yeah, yeah i love that that's yeah, very cool um overall it was a cool set for the period but yeah i mean it kind of it kind of i mean what, what was that movie con air when they yeah. land the plane out in this like abandoned airstrip sure and they're like looking for gas or something <laughs> that's deep. what this building reminds me of it's like rusty tin with like you like you can just get out of the sun yeah and you can't see it in this image very well but the uh roof of the building uh are actually it has a printed uh these printed slope pieces they have these yeah. like printed like uh shingle like type things along the top so that's a really cool feature they added on there um <laughs> That may be the only set, actually, now that I think about it, that has that dark gray printed slope piece like that. Yeah. I, I, I know they've done a couple for, like, other things, but they're different colors and different prints. So that might be an exclusive print to this set. Um, you also have the Fabuland windmill piece. Thought I'd, you know, have to point that out. Gotta love that. Gotta love it. I, I... It actually fits. In it does set. work. Well, and let's be fair. I mean, they changed the color to an accurate windmill color, not a blue or purple one or whatever it was. Yeah. <laughs> Red and yellow one in Fabuland. So, um, yeah, I remember my brother actually got this set. He, I think he bought it with his money. So he saved up his money and bought it. And we had a lot of fun, you know, putting it together. We built it. I That was one of the sets that I learned how to build without the instructions because um, I didn't really do that too much, but this was one I built enough and played with enough that I could build it all the way from scratch, including the plane, without the instructions as a kid. That's so, cool. yeah, it was I a got fun a couple set. of those. Yeah, the one I I still have it. It's technically my brother's. I still have it in the collection. It is very heavily played with, though. Um, I do think I might have parts to sub in a more shiny, crisp version of it. Uh, but the one that I know from our past is we did play with it as kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would definitely make it light blue strike for sure. Yeah. Um, let's see. Jason's flexing his sets. Says fooling with brain. Sometimes you gotta, you know, you gotta make it happen. I don't know. Yep. It's for you guys, man. You know, you gotta have something fun to look at. You don't want to look at this the whole time. Um, uh, mustache Braden says uh, came with the small base plates, and it did. Yeah. It's a long, skinny base plate. I was going to look that up and find out if that was, is that the only set to come with a tan one of that long skinny? Oh, yeah, I think so. I, I could be it. wrong. I could be wrong on that, but that was an actual base plate, base plate. Right, with the smooth underside. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's take one more I mean, look. At I that. like those. I like those, but I don't like them that much. They're all right. I mean, I find that it's more practical to build on a normal plate scale because you can build off of that if you need to and build up yeah, from that. That was always the issue with all the base plates. Yep. You didn't have little ones that you could fill in if you wanted to go a little over. Yeah. 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 So you're very limited to your your structure three dimensionally when you are using the base plate, the original base plates. Um Fooling with Bricks has a good point. He says he wonders if Outback even came out in the UK and he said he'll check. Because that's it feels like kind of like the Dark Forest sort of sub theme where it only showed I'm up. I'm not sure. Yeah, it might be a limited to. And that's US. that's stupid. The Dark Forest didn't come out in the UK. It was. Yeah, I don't know. I think it was. It came out in like one or two of the countries over there, but it didn't like. It was very. It was mostly U.S. and then I think it had like one or two other countries. But yeah, it was limited yeah. release. Blew my mind. I didn't when I. I had no idea till like more recently that that was a limited to limited release to to that location. So that's crazy. Um, yeah. So let's see. We got Draw Draw Boo says this is literally the airstrip from that Bond movie, Quantum of Solace. <laughs> there you go. You can feel yeah some inspiration from some of those '90s movies or like um yeah. Yeah, well, actually, I think that one came out after this. Yeah, that was that was that was recent, but yeah, you're right, you're right. But uh, the one you mentioned before, Con Air, I think, was an older one. Yeah, Con Air was an, is an older movie. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, ABC Build says I will never look at the airstrip set the same again. I think that's after you mentioned the Con Air movie. <laughs> 
That's what it is. Yeah. I mean, this is like where you'd pit stop to like pick up drugs or drop them off. Yeah. Well, and, and I want to talk about that later because the there's, there's, there's something going on in a little bit in this one, but more in some of this other city stuff. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about that later because I have some other things I want to bring up, but you, she said it. It's like the drug drop off for Lego and yeah. it gets wild. We're going to talk about that a little later. <laughs> uh, so overall, pretty cool set. Yeah. Air yeah. Trips. Uh, I think it's good. Uh, comes with a small plate, base plate. Would work well as a propeller for a blimp to oh the uh, the Fabuland wind windmill piece. I agree. Hey, Brick Alley, that's our local brick shop. We just got a little local brick shop that came in down the street, literally like half a mile from my house. That's cool. Yeah, that's dangerous. It, it's bad. <laughs> it's real bad. <laughs> And she said she's got a bunch of vintage stuff she's going to be sorting into it. So <laughs> I got to I got to stay away. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be rough, man. Yeah, I'm going to try to try to just uh, post up. But uh, no, she's really awesome. Anyway, her uh, shout out to Brick Alley. Um, yeah. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, you know, a lot, lot of people in the chat here coming in. Thank you so much for joining. We're talking about we are talking about Outback. Outback, a sub theme of town from 1997. Yeah, 1997. 1997, yeah. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. I need the Tom Cruise minifig. They have a Tom Cruise minifigure. It's an official Tom Cruise minifigure. It came out in that wacky Lego Universe game. Was it? Yeah, I saw a bunch of them because it was a Mission Impossible minifig. Uh, I saw a bunch of them at a, like a discounted somewhere. I didn't care enough about Tom Cruise to pick them up, but I probably should what have. Did, what, did you say it was the Dimensions? Dimensions, Lego Dimensions. Yeah. Yeah. Tom Cruise. Yep. There was a lot of there was a lot of super cool. Brick Alley got me too. She said Dimensions as well. Yeah, that's the one. Um, yeah, Dimensions had like a ton of stuff. Uh, like that they never did anywhere. Like ET, right? I mean, uh, a bunch of there's a Wizard of Oz stuff in there. Um, yeah, it's, you get into dimensions, yeah. you get, it's pretty wild. You get wild stuff happening there. You get chunk uh, or not chunk. What's, what's his name? Oh, isn't it? Is it, it's the guy from Goonies. Yeah. The big Is guy it chunk? From no, I don't that remember. Was, that was the little chubby kid. Oh, oh right. <laughs> Back when that was totally fine to put in the movies. <laughs> right? Call him the chubby kid chunk. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, that was okay. Well, yeah, I mean, it was eighties, right? Sloth. Uh, I knew, I knew Crystal would know it. His what name was his name? Sloth. 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 There you go. Uh, let's see. M J N. Seb builds. Seb builds. Uh, Brick Monarch. Any sales coming up before I put an order in for the new castle shirts and shields? Um, not a sale yet. Uh, we probably won't be doing a sale for another month or two. Um, we got a bunch of new releases coming out. We got new releases next week, the following week, and the week after that as well. Okay, cool. Good to know. Stay Puff and the old Sonic 2 uh, sloth was the old guy. Yeah, she, a Brick Alley got me there too. Yeah, Dimensions. Dimensions. Um, yeah, so yeah, going back to that whole thing, Tom Cruise. If you want to put Tom Cruise in this, uh, this airstrip set, you can... Uh, Go find a Lego Dimensions version of him and make it all happen. So, right. <laughs> uh, move, yeah, moving on, man. What yeah. about next? Mountain Rescue, dude. Mountain Rescue. My brother also got this set. Sorry, go ahead. A little helicopter. Yeah, a little red helicopter. We got a right here. The super awesome, the super awesome classic little helicopter that's actually enclosed, not the version that just has the lens that flips over, the rounded one. Right. Um, and it has a cool hook that you can pick up the tool flat with. Yeah, which is yeah. which is cool. And here again, we've got the octane canister, but we've also got the shell canister as well. Oh, right. Right here. Shell, octane. And then I may note that these two chests, these two uh, suitcases are full of gold coins for some reason. Just saying. Sorry. I've already said it. We'll bring that. We'll bring that into play later. Why would he be cruising around in a helicopter with gold? In the outback. 
I'd... <laughs> Unless you're dropping something off or picking something up, huh? Right. I love I love this I love this little helicopter. It's it's a classic helicopter. You know, with all the classic helicopters, they always use those little bar things with the studs on the bottom yeah, to love connect that. the to connect the runner rails, right? Yep. And then the propeller on top has always had the the one by eight. Yep. And then the little vent on the other. Always. Yep. Uh, yeah, you can see it right here. Yep. These little vents, guys. Yep. Um, also, let's just like t take a look at all of the tools and like this. This set, though it is small, like just loaded with <laughs> the saw blades, pickaxes, hatchets. It's it's a it's very loaded with good yeah. little. Yeah, good, I like good the goodies. I like the black shovel uh, because typically most of the shovels that you can find nowadays are old gray, old dark gray, and the dark bluish gray. Yeah. That's a good, that's um, actually a, a good um, observation there. Yeah, this one comes with the black shovel right there and a black hatchet, which isn't as rare, but. Yeah, that one, that, the black hatchet's pretty common. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah, actually, but the I think black shovel is not. I think the light gray hatchet's a little harder to get. Yeah. Which comes on, uh, which comes on the uh, airstrip. So that's cool. They gave you some nice variety there with the little hatchet right there. So you're getting the black shovel, the gray hatchet. Uh, yeah, great little set. Uh, my brother also got this set as a kid. He got it. We used to get some small um, Lego sets sometimes after dentist trips because we got all dentists up. And so my mom would sometimes hit up Fred Meyer or whatever after and let us pick out a little set. So I, my brother got that after the dentist. I remember playing with it with my mouth on them. That's cool. <laughs> Been there, done that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, good solid little set, little rescue set. Yeah, sixty-seven pieces in that. That's a pretty compact little build because that's a decent amount of parts. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was originally it went for six six dollars and seventy-five cents. The airstrip was twenty-two dollars back in the day. Which is so cheap, man. I wish I could go back in time. One hundred and fifty-seven pieces. Hundred and fifty seven pieces for twenty two bucks. Three minifigs. Yeah. Printed parts too. It came with two printed radios and those printed roof pieces. Yeah. Yeah. Phenomenal. But anyway, uh yeah, so that's the what is that one called? Mountain Rescue. That was the little red helicopter. Yeah, six four eight seven. Mountain great rescue. Little set. Comes with another one of those sunglass bros. Yeah. Sunglass bro with the green. That guy that guy rode drove helicopters, boats, jet skis, semis. Same guy. He was uh, he, he was he was the guy, he was the go-to man. He was. He was. All right, so let's jump into this Amazon Crossing because the Amazon Crossing set is the reason that you bought any of them at all was because of this one. Let's see if I can get it without the glare. There we go. Amazon Crossing. That's the one, man. Like you yeah. said, that's got that 4x4 four four truck. It's got the janky bridge that kind of bends and flops around because they put those ladders on the hinges like that. Yeah, I love I loved that effect. That was such a great effect for that. Can we also point out that this is literally a dead hiker? Just yeah. straight up getting eaten by an alligator? Yeah. You got his Bones backpack his pan, his ribs. <laughs> also, like, you get one of those light gray, the small light gray burps, which is nice, because I think that's the only other sets where really that light gray came on was the Native American ones. Um, yeah, I think I think there was a oh, couple wow, of light gray wow. ones in the uh, divers. Um, possibly in, like, one, but most of those were, like, the dark gray with those stickers. They would put the little fish stickers on. Yeah. Uh, but I think the uh, the the, the uh, uh, fort and the gold mine had them too from Wild West. Yeah, I can't I can't remember a hundred percent. Yeah, Amazon Crossing looks amazing. Fooling with bricks. Yeah, Amazon Crossing is like the equivalent. Uh, where'd it go? Uh, the satellite one from uh, Snow. <laughs> Forgot how to talk. Ice Planet. 
uh, I sat B, is that what it's called? Yeah. Yeah, that's like, for me, that's like the equivalent to that. Um, it's just, you look at it and it just looks good. Everything about it. It's just a yeah. good set. Yeah, it was, that, that little Amazon Crossing set was good. I had, I had two of them because I liked the truck. The truck was absolutely phenomenal. And I'm almost positive that one of these sets that you're talking about that should have, could have maybe been in this is that Safari one where it's like the same truck build. Yeah. But it's got like the zebra prints on the doors. And comes with a little monkey. Yeah, and it comes with a monkey. But there's like a recording, like, there's like a, a, a camera and all that yeah. on the top of the rig and all that. And I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. That feels a little bit like it could fit into this theme. Yeah. It does. It does feel like that. Um, it has a little bit but, of the same vibe. You know, those, those, um, those little spring, those little spring four by four lifted springs, man. Yeah, you can Spring. see them kind of in action here. Let's take another They're look so at awesome. it. They're so awesome. Yeah. They're a little... I believe they were really... red on this set. Yeah, they're red. They've got springs built in right under here. Um, and it allowed the truck to move back and forth on top of the axles. So you get that off-road feel when you would drive it over the ladders because the ladders were offset. So when you drove yeah. it over it, the wheels would go bouncing across it. It was so cool. <laughs> it was. Uh that that particular part i'm not sure if it ever came out in another color but it would have been really nice to have some of those in black i don't i'd have to look into that yeah i don't i feel like it only came in red but there might be like a black one yeah. i don't uh, i don't <laughs> think so though um fooling with bricks only thing missing is the bull shark is that from uh is that just because australia needs that <laughs> or maybe um probably just checked eBay. There's only one seller selling it. Unlike the States, there's a whole bunch. Hmm. So, yeah, I wonder if it is more pop, more popular in the States because maybe it was just released here. I, I would, we should have looked at that. Well, at I mean, I, they were, let's be honest, they released this here because Crocodile Dundee came from here. I was just thinking about him today when I was like, well, even though it was technically kid. Australia, it was an American made movie. Right. <laughs> so, like, the American kids and at the time were like, we just watched Crocodile Dundee, and then this little sub theme comes out with a crocodile. <laughs> yeah, with a crocodile in it. Yep. Yep. That's not a knife. <laughs> <laughs> right. I know. I mean, but that I, I have a feeling that that was probably a uh, probably one of the reasons why it was so popular here. It definitely feels kind of like it. Hey, Marty, the Lego party, welcome. As well as we had a couple of people, uh, Epic Bricks eight. Epic Brick 18 joined. He said he was going to try and make it. He said he had to stay up, though, so I appreciate you being on here. Brick Snaps joined. He does some great live streams as well. I've watched He them. does. He does a lot of good builds. Does he know about all this, the themes from the, you know, the 80s and the 90s? Yeah, he might. He might not. I don't know. I think he's, um, I think while I was listening to him, he said he was more uh, getting into it because his kids were getting into it. So I don't know that he did too much back in the 80s and 90s with Lego. Hi lads, says Brick Snaps. I might lose. I might be losing Brick Monarch. We're losing. Uh, we might be losing connection on you, man. Uh, what is up? You guys talking about Alligator River Crossing one? We are. Yeah, it looks like Brick Monarch dropped out. We're gonna try and get him back on here though. No worries. As long as my live stream keeps going, I'll just send him an invite. Um, yeah, Alligator Crossing was the. Uh, was the uh, set we were just talking about. I'm just trying to find him uh, real quick to get him to join on here. Okay, I don't see him. I wonder if his phone died, that'd be lame. But uh, uh, come back, Andrew, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, man, uh, let me take a look at this again. This is the, the set we're talking about right here. We're talking about um, the uh, Outback Lego sets here. And we were just talking about how we got a chewed up hiker right here from the alligator. And then uh, the awesome spring loaded action on this truck here as well. Um, also, you have the rifle, which I think is the only set in the Outback theme to come with a rifle. It's on the back or the rack of his truck right there, along with the spare tire in the back. Um, really cool theme or really cool set in the, in the uh, Outback theme we got andrew requesting to join again so let's see if we can get him on here there we go hey. Jumped out for a second 
No, I, I, it's raining. It's raining here in Tennessee right now. So we've got uh, my internet's kind of like spotty and in and out. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll hopefully we'll stay tuned. Uh, I have good connection here, so I'll just talk, talk out my butt about whatever. If you dis, dip, dip out again. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. I wasn't trying to do it on purpose. No, no, no. It's all good. I understand. Um, let's see. We got Marty saying he bought uh, that. Uh, that one at a children's place, I think. And then we got, looks like uh, they, they got to, the heat got to the hiker before the alligator. It's possible. Yeah, he could have been out there and just heat stroked out and the alligator ate him. But Maybe Or the alligator. Or he was sleeping by the river. <laughs> uh, Lady Brick says, yeah, it's raining here. So that's where you guys are at. Uh, so you got a little bit sketchier connection. That's okay. Um, yeah. By by far my favorite set of this theme, one of my favorite sets of all time, really. I mean, it's stuck with me. Yeah, mine too. Like, uh, Again, it's, yeah. it's, the pin it's the pinnacle set of this 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 set of sets. Um, you know, it was the first one that was bought. If you bought any of these, you bought it first. Yeah, great. Yeah, set. probably followed well, then by the airstrip. Um, it would be. I, I would think. I mean, if you're not like a hound dog for like you know the box and instructions. I would think that the parts on this you could probably get fairly cheap um, on Bricklink if you wanted to piece it together, and um, I'm not sure if I'm not sure if the burp comes in light bluish gray or not. That small burp. I I don't think so. So you might if you have to use the old original gray. So if you wanted to match, you'd have to go back to the old gray, or which would be a little. You, know, you, could, you could throw in a dark bluish gray one. And make all that yeah. dark bluish gray just the same. Yeah. 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 Uh, another plus, I guess, in some regard to this whole theme is that the minifigures are not exclusive to this theme. So finding them to sub in or build these. Yeah, there's a plethora of them. It's not hard and they're not expensive. So, yeah, like I said, I mean, the, this era of town, there was a lot of these minifigs the black leather jacket, the sunglass head. And the green vest jacket. Um, dude, the... green vest guy? I looked him up today. This guy right here. Uh, that guy. This guy? He yeah. came in like 45 Lego sets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, what I'm talking about. And he's in one, two, three of the Outback sets. So you're you're good to go. He's the essential guy. Yeah. And you can get him for yeah, cheap. he's the guy driving the truck. He's the guy driving the helicopter. He's the guy at the airstrip. Yeah. See, is he the guy in the little racer? Uh, I think he, the guy in the racer is blue with an octan symbol on his coat. Like a little, yeah. like, racing, like, um, what do you call it? Like, jumpsuit. Yeah. Um, the old race for... car. The old yeah. race car uniform. Yeah, exactly. Like the NASCAR uniform. A.K. Brickster, Jordan. Dude, uh, welcome to the chat. Also, congratulations on that awesome castle tower you did. He was part of the uh, Let's Build Medieval with um, Brick Huntress. She does these collaborations with a bunch of people where you just tag her and then put the hashtag Let's Build whatever she, the series is she's doing. Yeah, anyway, that's Jordan cool. was, yeah, it was cool. Um, and Jordan was on her live stream for like uh, five or ten minutes and talked about his uh, tower. Fantastic. Check him out. Check. I think he's got photos of it. Really, really cool techniques on that tower he built so yeah just a shout out for jordan um also uh, ak brickster on here so that's him um let's see we got a couple good questions well first i want to say uh fooling with brick said um the hiker got got by the dingoes which totally that's perfect for australia <laughs> yeah. dingoes got him first <laughs> And then, um, how many sets in the act Outback theme, asks Marty, the Lego party? Five. Yes. Five official sets. And then we're going to talk about some sets. We already mentioned one, uh, sets that feel like they kind of go with this theme, but we're stuck in other sub-themes of city or town. So, but we'll talk about that a little later d down the road. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's the set, man. Um, Amazon Crossing. Don't know why it's called Amazon Crossing because it's in Australia, but who cares? <laughs> uh, one, of those that name, one? one of those name things, again, <laughs> from the, just... back in the day. 
Yeah, I wonder if it would have had a different name if it had been released in the UK. I mean, it could have been called River Crossing. That would have been perfect. Yeah, Treacherous Crossing. Like, there's plenty of ways you could have. Yeah, Amazon. That is not the Amazon. Well, and it's very clear that Lego wants you to make sure that you're thinking you're in Australia. Because the tagline on this whole page, which is all Outback sets, says at the beginning, it says, Good day, mates, with the G apostrophe. Welcome to yeah. the Outback. So they're totally pushing, like, it's Australia. The Outback is referred to or as but in Australia. But Amazon is in South America. Right. So I'm like, well, <laughs> Amazon Crossing, I don't know. Maybe that was a nickname the, uh, the yeah, people gave in there. doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> I think it's funny. It's all good. Uh, well, all right, let's take a look here at the uh, Outback Racer. Yeah, the little guy. This is your $4.50 Lego set here. <laughs> With a minifig. And With a minifig. Yeah. And printed, and printed bricks. Right there. So, pretty simple little racer set. Gotta Thin love that, man. Back in the day, man, they printed, they printed on those little doors. Yeah. Time. I love that. <laughs> Well, the only and I, problem was when you found the left one and you couldn't find the right one. Dude, I have a few of those. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, that was like that was like the issue when you were a kid. Oh, I'm gonna build this. I'm gonna build this set again, and you can't find one of the doors. <laughs> totally. <laughs> AK Bricher says, "Good day. Welcome to the Amazon." <laughs> <laughs> I know. You're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> ridiculous brett lego uh brett lego says i love oh yeah i love and have the outback airstrip yes do we just we talked about that one a little bit earlier had a lot of good stuff to say about it fooling with brick says uk would have had would come out with some bs name lol <laughs> probably i mean sure probably <laughs> uh let's see uh Duckbrick says Nexus not old and they printed uh on the one by one tiles. Oh Nexo Knights is not old and they printed on the one by one tiles. Uh yeah, I mean they print on one by one tiles. Were you mentioning something that they didn't or No, I was just I was just pointing out that you had said there were printed pieces. Oh back sure. Back in the yeah. day. Back in the day, I mean those little doors for the cars were notorious for having a print on them. Yeah, a little fire engine symbol or something little like that. A little fire symbol, a little race yeah. symbol, a little... Uh, Star Wars printed you know, some... Graphic back. line or whatever. I mean, there was... A, but it was always the doors. The doors were always the issue to... Right. You know. <laughs> and if you had multiples in, in, like, yellow, right, you were always finding the right door, but it wasn't the one with the print. It was one that was plain from another set. Yeah. Frustrating. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I think what's cool about this set, the Outback Racer, is uh, it does stay kind of in in, uh, in line with the theme being the dust and such. It's an enclosed race car. It's not open. Uh, so that's kind of cool, um, you know, to keep you kind of protected from the elements a little bit more because you are in a dangerous place. The Australian Outback is notorious. So. <laughs> yeah, and you got, uh, let's see, you've got the, um, that old classic, uh, roof with the hinges. Oh, on the little hinges. Open, yeah. open the top and throw the minifig in there. Yeah, I like that. That's a good feature because they totally could have just slapped a plate on there, but they decided to yeah. include that, which is a very cool piece, a very functional piece. And I, you know, looking at that, you know, um, it's funny. I, it's it's funny too that I point that out. Um, that hinge piece. Yeah. And like the, you know, there's like a male and a female. Uh, part of yeah. it, I, right. I went I went through and found like a whole bunch of them on Bricklink in yellow, blue, black, red, white. You know, any of them that I could, could get, I bought. Yeah. I was just like hoarding them for a while, so I actually have quite a few of those classic. You know, the five little teeth, and Prongs. then like the pe yeah. and then you had the you had the square piece that had the three studs and it was four wide. Yep. And then you had the one with the sunroof window hole in it. Where you could put like the little sunroof. Yeah, with the little. Yeah, uh, I bought all those. This one. They have one on this truck here, uh, right here. The, you can kind of see it there. The little yeah. sunroof. 
Yeah. Yeah, I love I love that old piece. I don't like the the click joint one as well. It's a little chunkier. I mean, it doesn't quite it's not as smooth and clean looking. Yeah, no, I mean the the click one does work quite well for a lot yeah. of things, but it's just, you know, it's not it's not the originals, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Matt Mustache Brand Brandon says, Yeah, matching the doors can be the worst. You were just talking about that. Yeah, those doors. <laughs> Uh, these trucks are all related to 6514, uh, same minifig too. Oh, interesting. Yeah, they're, they're, it does kind of have a, a formulaic type of look um, on some of those, the little builds. Um, yeah, similar to like the Mag Racers. Yeah, it said, uh, he said, uh, was it was a town uh, trail ranger truck for three ninety nine. Yeah, so all in the same price range, they had about the same piece count, so they all kind of mirror each other a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool little set. Yeah, it's fun. I think. Four dollars. Yeah, four fifty. <laughs> Dude, can I you think... imagine walking into a Toys R Us with like a thousand bucks in like nineteen eighty eight, nineteen ninety seven, or nineteen ninety or nineteen eighty? Any time, be <laughs> any time before two thousand, it would have been that would be insane. <laughs> That'd be totally insane. Um, yeah. Yeah, man. I do believe, last little thought on this set, the printed doors like we talked about and the printed hood are unique prints to this set. Yeah. Yeah. Which is something I wanted to point out about all of these sets is there are no new parts developed for them as far as I could tell. Um, no exclusive minifigs and no exclusive parts, but we do have some exclusive printed pieces in them. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I don't think that those those same prints were used anywhere else. I don't think so. No, I I tried to look it up. I couldn't find them anywhere else. So. Um, yeah, and then moving on, I guess to the last official set, which is the one that kind of we talked about. <laughs> Crisis News Crew. Yeah, it's kind of the odd one out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it makes no sense it whatsoever. really it looks like it should be in the lego city space sub theme it's got a lot of crazy stuff yeah it, i mean yeah it does kind of because with the like radar yeah like they'd be tracking maybe the shuttle launch you know it feels like it would belong more in that although look at that talk about one by one printed parts that's a printed microphone cover. I know. That's so cool. <laughs> you probably only got one of those when you got that set, too. Possible. Back yeah. in the day. Um, again, going back to the exclusive prints, this surprisingly only came in this set, that little hood piece with the TV printed on it. Yeah, I think the van, I think the van was actually stickers. But the piece on the nose of the helicopter was printed on. Yeah, you can actually, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but I can see it where I'm at. You can see the line of the sticker because these were back when they didn't do the, the renders. They did photos. You can kind of see, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a line around that. Yeah. For the sticker on the side there. Um, yeah, not much to say about it. It's, a, it's another helicopter. It's a big, kind of a big helicopter. Yeah. Uh. It is cool though. It has two two video cameras, a bunch of videotape pieces. Uh, it's got a guy like straight up just hanging off on his little seat out here, which is cool. I mean, it was it was a cool set. I mean, if you had town, you had to have it. Yeah, and I could see like this fitting in in the sense that like, you know, the helicopter rescue guys going out. You know, I, if you think about it, you have a story here. You've got a missing guy, right? You've got this guy coming in. You've got a rescue helicopter. You've got the crisis news crew kind of covering what's going on there. So I could see that kind of all working together as a story. Yeah, I, I mean, but you could you could also you could also be like you could also throw that in with a lot of the other city stuff that came out in the years prior to that, where like, yeah. let's see, you had an issue at the Sail and Fly Marina. The news crew was there, and the trauma team showed up. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it doesn't, I mean, this set is more versatile in town than really necessarily in the Outback. I mean. Sure. Yeah. I do get the, this vibe here 
with the guy again going back to here this is a jump seat on the outside with that camera like kind of just shotgun style going across the like outback i could see that as kind of being more of a an outbacky type thing whereas like maybe in lego city they're a little bit more conservative in their <laughs> seating maybe <laughs> but yeah i mean i don't know although i could see it more like let's be real i could see that set being like wild boar hunters where the guy has actually got a rifle up there on the side and they're going yeah. across the plains to take out some wild boar that feels more like an outback set of course lego would never do something like that but like i could see that being more of a useful useful situation for that jump seat on the side there yeah and fitting closer to an outback feel which wouldn't that have been cool to have some wild boar with this set that would have been fun that would be cool or a dingo, like uh, Barry mentioned. Well, there's the German Shepherd looks pretty close. That's true. And the old German Shepherd would fit pretty well because he's got no print. He's just like a, a little out, like a cutout. And he would fit with this style of Lego pretty well. Yeah, it would. Because so, he's got the pointy ears. Yeah. Um, let's see. A.K. Brickster. I don't think helicopters can fly in space, Jason. What was space? Did we, were we talking about space? What are you talking about? That's funny. <laughs> and actually, in Lego, they can, Jordan. Come on. Yeah, in Lego, you can do whatever you want. Remember all the space guys we were just talking about with all the open canopies flying through the atmosphere? Some of these planets that are probably toxic. Right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's Lego, man. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, uh... <laughs> Fooling with Bricks agrees it's the oddball set. It's not even the same color scheme. Like, we got red, yellow, green, a little bit, you know, and then this just straight up blue and white set. Like, I don't know, it's kind of funny. It would. Jordan, like, for real, like, he's talking about the sub theme of city space. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, when not it's black space. on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I meant like, yeah, the the shuttle launch and all of those. Yeah. Like, I, I think you know, he's yeah, probably... they came with like sets like the Comlink cruiser, you know, the V two shuttle. He's like, he's like, in his head, it's like this helicopter's flying next to like, you know. <laughs> now nah, he's renegade. trolling me. He knows what I meant. He's he's out here trolling. He's look, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. He was just winking. Yeah, see this guy. He likes to, he, every time, dude. He's he's great though. I really like. Uh, he's a he's a good guy, and I like hanging out with him when we're up at BrickCon and all that. But uh, yeah, he's he's actually he lives in the same state as I do. So <laughs> if I if I if he if he uh, if he trolls me too hard, I I can go find him. <laughs> um. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Maybe the helis could be tagging the animals instead of hunting them. That would have worked for Lego. I think, like, especially with their new, like, little fringe, like, dart gun or something like that. They could have maybe had that happening. I would love to see a reboot of this theme. Wouldn't that be cool? A Lego, Lego sub theme of Outback again? Yeah, that would be cool. You know, bring in the dingoes, bring in the, uh, uh, the wild boar. Yeah, have, like, a team of, like, people tagging and tracking the animals in the outback and stuff like that because they could keep it you know g-rated that way for lego and all that yeah i mean it would give them a reason to make a kangaroo dude that'd be so cool that would be very cool i didn't even think of that yeah no kangaroos where's my kangaroo man there's no kangaroo so i will give lego credit and the designers who created this whole theme um they made it without, like we had mentioned before, without new parts, new molds, new minifigs. They got like five new prints and that's it. And they were able to dig out a whole unique theme with a unique look out of stuff that Lego had already made. And I, I give them credit for that because that's pretty impressive. Yeah, that is cool. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was a cool, it's a cool little sub theme. It's a you great know? sub theme. And I think it also really fits the definition of what a sub theme is in my brain because like sometimes you see these people throwing the word sub theme around for like big like almost feels like complete themes like oh yeah black falcons is a sub theme of the castle line i'm like no black falcons is a is its own theme like <laughs> it's castle i don't know yeah, almost, yeah. <laughs> but like yeah but this feels totally what 
a, a, sub, a, a sub theme would be, right? It's like a small group of sets inside town that are a kind of unique variant off of that. So I really- well, I'm interested to know what, what these other sets are that you think would blend in with this. Yeah, so I'm not the only one who thinks this because apparently- and Do you have set numbers for those? I think I have set numbers for most of them. Uh, well, you tell me one right now and I'm gonna look it up. Uh, yeah. The first one, uh, I'll show you a picture of it. It's 6563 Gator Landing. You know this set. I do, it, yeah. It's, it's literally on the same page as the Outback in Lego. Yes. Yes. I remember, I remember that. I remember that set. This is one of my all-time favorite sets. Gator Landing. And... That, yeah, that one is, that one is super cool. It's um, very... Uh, that came out a year before. Oh, did it? Yeah, 2000, or 1996. So I wonder if they did this one. It was well received, and they kind of mirrored them in the rest of this whole page. Um, yeah, I think so. It's like I it's. Think, I think that that's accurate. It's literally on the same page, listed under the Outback Lego sets, but it in all of the other places, it's listed as. Um, Leisure, I think, under sub theme of like Lego City Leisure or Lego Town Leisure. Yeah, I mean that. Yeah. Duckworks says that's a cool Florida. Set. I yeah. always, I always loved when they threw in like the little, uh, the little green guy, and then they threw on a life jacket and then a yeah. cowboy hat, and he yeah. was like a completely different guy. Right here. <laughs> How cool well, is that plane where... too? That plane is super awesome. Yeah, it's got the pontoons. It's got the rope bridge. It's got another little kind of similar truck, except for it's red. And then look, it, it stacks and stacks of cash in suitcases. And that begs the question again, what the heck were these guys doing out here? Man, I don't even know. Gator Landing. Um, build them carefully because this boat and water plane have to get you into and out of the gator infested, the gator infested swamp. Many hours of fun await you in this secret hideaway with gold coins, cash, and hanging bridge, and adventurers who will stop at nothing to keep their loot. That's the description of the set. Yeah. So it's interesting yeah, that they're like they have. And Barry, of Barry says it's like the it's like the Everglades, and it is. Because when I was in Tampa, when I lived in Tampa, I did a lot of work down in Miami. So yeah. I would literally drive down the west coast of Florida and then cross the Everglades to go to Miami. And it's just like miles and miles and miles of swamp as far yeah. as you can see. And gators. Lots of gators. <laughs> yeah, so it definitely feels like it's mirrored a little bit more off of that than maybe Australia. Um, yeah, it does but, look very, it, it feels very Florida Everglades to me. It does have, it does have a different background image uh, it's it more does, woodsy yeah. here's a fun fact about the outback i just noticed so again not going to be accurate whatsoever there's camels in the background that's a camel so yeah so that's like <laughs> egypt <laughs> so we have egypt we got if you count the the gator landing we got like a florida situation <laughs> we've got the amazon and it's all stuffed into a theme called Outback. <laughs> I know. So it's like, good day, mate, from the Amazon in South America, while there's camels walking in the background from Egypt. Somebody yeah. was on drugs when they put this marketing together. <laughs> or they had, like, a bunch of, like, back backlog, like, background images and stuff. And they're like, just use this one. It's got the deserty mountains in the background. Put that one in the back. Why is there a camel, bro? <laughs> Ducks Brick says Australia has the most wild camels in the world. Does it? Okay, well that might be true. But we don't think Australia on on Wikipedia. However, if I see a camel, I see the desert of Egypt. Yeah. I, I mean see Australia. When we're talking about Australia, I see the kangaroos and the dingoes. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah. Like so that that's that's a fair that's a fair point. Um it is, yeah, instantly you see a camel, you see desert dunes, you think Egypt. Um, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, Jordan All says right, he What's your see. next set? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'd kill for a koala. Oh, dude, a little koala. 
That'd be a awesome. Koala would be cool, yeah. Uh, that's some Florida shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's the swamp one. Uh, how about the river rapids boat? Same family. That's one I wanted to say. Yeah. Um, set uh, six 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 five. Um, I actually have a, an image of them. I have an image of all four of them, actually. These are the sets that I felt like fit into that theme as well. So yes. we have the Rapid River one that kind of felt like that vibe. One yes. of our favorite sets here. Um, what's that yes. one called? It's called, uh, is it Rocky River Retreat? Um, this is called Night Transport. And this is where things get sketchy because this is just a whole group of planes and like the the uh this like wild van and there's stacks again of cash and it's yeah called, but like, see the color scheme of that fits the color scheme of the vehicles from the skater landing it does exactly yeah look here it is right here same crew yeah right so there's that that's why i think i thought that maybe this felt like it kind of went into it because we got all the same stripes and such and then, yeah, the wild, the rapid raft, I feel like, could fit in there. And then this is just, the only reason I put this one in here was because of the fan boats. And that's something you see in Australia a lot, I believe, on some of the swamps. Well, it's in Florida, too. But Yeah, that's, uh, what was that, that river boat? Yeah. Um, that was super cool. But, again, there's our, our notorious mini fig, again, with the green. Not that one, the other one. Uh, this one. The river raft or whatever. Yeah, there he is. The green guy right yep. there. And is he so here too? Yeah, he should be. Right there? <laughs> With the life jacket and the baseball cap? Yep. Yeah, so these are sets that felt to me like they fit into the theme or at least kind of were loosely connected to it. Um, they mostly ended up in uh, leisure, though. Lego Town Leisure it's a theme. So um, Gator Landing definitely feels like it, though. And then I have two more sets, and I actually physically have these sets. So it's... Um, Cactus Canyon. Yeah. Which has got some pretty hard. Uh, yeah. Super cool vibes. little trucks in there. Yeah. You got the little truck, you know, with the canopy thing on it. You got the except video in this one, except in these, the background is like Arizona. Yeah. It does have a little bit more of the canyon because it's the Cactus Canyon. But um, it still has what? a similar vibe. And then you were just talking. did that me? come out? Uh, let me check. This is actually sealed. Oh, wow. The sealed set. Uh, it came out in 1994. So that's why it wouldn't be part of the theme because it came out quite a bit earlier. 1994. Okay, okay. Let me ask you this. Let me, let me, let me touch base on this just because I'm, I'm making the connection to my childhood. Do you remember, the, you remember the game we were talking about, Fireball Island? Yeah. It had the big, like, molded base plate that came with the game? Yep. Okay, there was another one. Did have you ever did you ever play with micro machines? Uh, yes. Okay, so yeah. the monster trucks of the monster machine world. There was this there was this other game that had the same molded. It was like similar. It was called Crash Canyon. Okay. Do you remember that? I don't know if I remember that one. And but it I came with like little micro machine vehicles. That okay. You'd like go along the canyon. That's what that reminds me of. That's cool. Look it up. <laughs> Super. Cool. Yeah. I love all the old micro machine stuff. That stuff is fire. I love all of it. It's so much fun. They're so cool. It's good old '90s toys, man. Dude, I saw one of the I saw one of the original commercials on Facebook the other day, and it, oh, like, yeah. when I saw the commercial, the guy talking really fast and pointing at him with a pencil. Yeah, I was like, I was like, dude, I remember Ouch. those. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, AK was talking about AK Brickster was talking about there are camels in Australia, so our bad. We were just thinking of Egypt as soon as we saw them, but whatever. Yep. Uh, um, uh, let's see, most wild camels, blah blah blah. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see, there were they weren't native. Interesting. Okay, mustache Brandon came in with that. We got duck bricks. Uh, Google it. They effed up and they breeded them like wild. <laughs> uh, just means you're native to the world. <laughs> Or new? No, native. Okay. Uh, does. The... <laughs> He's uh, slandering me, Jason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, let's see. Camels were brought by the trainers and explorers. Okay, so cool. We got a big, long... Um... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, Jordan. That's what I meant to say. I, was, I couldn't remember. 
this this one, the miss um the uh, A team van. It's straight up. You got the little A team van right there. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah, so that's midnight like, transport. It's like a souped up van, like a Conaline van. Yeah. And these guys, they all have bare arms. They're like, they all feel kind of thuggy. The plane has all these compartments you can stuff in, like suitcases full of gold into the back of it. Yeah, and cash and whatever else. Yeah, cash and whatever, you know, white powders you bring in <laughs> with you, you know, whatever else Lego's doing. <laughs> nostalgia is too strong on this one. Yeah, dude, nostalgia. That's what we're talking about. Got Cactus Canyon for my fifth birthday. Uh, Chore Inch Bricks. That's awesome, man. It's a really cool set. It is. That is a cool set. Love the Micro Machines. Jordan's with you there, man. Um, I had Micro Machines because that opens into City and River and the Bridge. Yeah, yeah. That's Barry. Uh, Draw Boo says, I have a near infinite amount of Star Wars Micro Machines. Yeah, I remember they did a whole line of Star Wars ones. Uh, literally 100 pounds. Wow, that's so cool. I love all of them, dude. They're so... That was cool. back when kids actually played with toys. <laughs> yeah, now it's just the adults. <laughs> I know. Now the kids want all the all the iPads and phones and all that. Stuff. Okay. Yeah. No, yeah, they're all on the digital stuff. And we're like, but the, uh, the stuff we grew up with was cool, too. <laughs> you know, I lost my notes completely because I had a bunch of notes that I wanted to talk about a bunch of stuff with, and they're gone. Probably inside the, the catalog or something. But um, that's okay. I think we made most of the points I wanted to make. There was a Lego set um, called Outback Cabin. Uh, it was a Lego creator set. It came out in like 2020. Um, and that was, I just wanted to bring that up because it had the same name in it. it, it yeah, I have that. I have that set. It looks more like the American like Rockies though. <laughs> Yeah, it does. It, it's got a, it's, it's like a, it's more of a log cabin. Yeah. Well, it's got a, I think it got a bald eagle. So correct me if I'm wrong. Do I, yeah. if there's bald no, eagles in Australia. I know, the, I know the one you're talking about. There was a couple of creator houses. One of them came with like a brick built moose. Yeah. 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 The yeah. Outback cabin came with a brick built dog and a brick built uh, eagle. And then it had like a little guy in a kayak. Um, uh, A.K. Brickster says, the American Outback. <laughs> there you go. So, I have one last bomb to drop on this live stream. Um, you said that you were, you hadn't really been surprised with any sets that you've seen, except for the one that I brought, the Weedabix Castle, when we first talked about the original castle line. Yeah. Okay. You may have seen this one or not. It was new to me when I found it on eBay and bought it like two years ago. Let me know what you think if you've seen this one before. Because it looks like it fits in Outback. But take a look at this one. Huh. Isn't that wild? It's got, the, it's got the gator. It's got like Johnny Thunder hats. It's got the... Uh, the it's, so it's a little later than Outback because it's got the uh, flight... The, uh, the little aviator helmet, I think. Oh, no, that's just a black helmet. Yeah, it's just a brown helmet. Sorry. Um, and then it's got a dock with a bush and a boat. What's, and what the is that set called? And the octane ca can. It doesn't have a name. It's just a set number. 2769. And I, it's sealed. I want to open it, but I don't. <laughs> what was it? You said it was uh, 2769? It also has the head of Black Bart from Wild West. Wow. Getting kind of wild in there, huh? Isn't that weird? So on this uh, side, it looks like kind airline, of an airline promotional set. Airplane and boat. Oh, yeah. So specially made. I just, I just read it on the side. Specially made for air, airline companies. Huh. Yeah, that's yeah it doesn't wild. have a name. I, I, I don't, I'm, I'm sure that I've seen it, but I don't... Um... It's weird. It's a weird set. But it has It is kind of weird. It is kind of weird. It's got a little it's got a mix of all kinds of things. You know the uh the stunt planes that came out in town? Yeah. Yeah. That's the way the plane is built. And then the little boat is like the traditional little boat. And of course you got the octane can. You know, I mean that's that's I mean it's cool. Yeah, it's interesting. I 
I think it has two of these hats because on the front it shows a black one and on the back it shows a brown one. So I wonder if it has an extra one for the other guy when he takes his helmet off. Probably. I um, like how... And then, and then the uh, the BrickLink reference on it is uh, airport, Lego air, aircraft and boat, town, classic town recreation. So it's like deep in there. Yeah. It's a little bit of a wonky one. <laughs> yeah. I like how the, even with this promotional set, though, they create, they included an alternative build on the back. Yeah, that's cool. I think it's awesome. So anyway, I was hoping to kind of surprise some people with this one. If you haven't seen it, let me know. Um, but yeah, man, I thought it was cool. So I picked it up when I saw it on eBay a while back. Uh, but yeah, I thought it kind of had some vibes, you know, with the bushes, the alligator, little boat, the pontoon. Yeah, it's nice. So anyway, there you go. Uh, check when it came out here. I don't see a date on the back here. Do you have it? Did you? Oh, 1999. So it's a good couple years after Outback came out. Yeah. But yeah. Well, let's see. There you go. We got we got a couple. Uh, the plane looks familiar. Says Jordan. Uh, like I it's said, it's like it's like one of the planes from the uh, aerial. Yeah, this part especially with that propeller and that. Yeah, cylinder. the way that that's all set up, it's like the... yeah aerial acrobats or something like that the set it's got like two yep. or three planes in it yeah there's another set in that series it's kind of like called like flyers or planes or something inside it's a sub theme of lego city or town that has a, a similar build um to the airstrip the building where they use the uh the texture bricks as like texture in the brick uh yeah. of the building those little like vent almost textured bricks um there's another airplane set you're talking about that same kind of they had like five or six of these little airplane kits. One of them had a building like that. I should have taken a picture and showed it, showed you guys, but I felt like that one kind of felt as well that it was sort of like this adventure sort of outback feel yeah. going on. Yeah, it is. it's it, it's a cool little set. It's a cool set. It's a cool theme. Um, the whole outback theme is really fun. Uh, Lego calls the Lego calls the um, the characters in the outback uh, outback adventurers. Um, so I thought that was kind of fun. Uh, probably not a reference to the adventurers like these guys, but they do in like three of the descriptions of the five sets, they say the adventurers are doing this or like Outback adventurers are over here. So right. that, that was kind of fun. Um, I found my notes. I think we talked about everything though. The minifigures aren't unique. There's some some cool printed... Uh, it's funny that, yeah, this was mentioned online that this, this, the theme is divided into three, like three sections, and it's only got five sets. And so they were like, yeah, the general sets we kind of mentioned, right? The standard ones. And then it has a rescue side of it, which is the little helicopter. And then it's got a news side of it, which is the news crew. And so it's like these three things going on inside <laughs> a tiny sub theme of City. Yeah. I thought that was kind of kind of funny. They were able to pull that off with just five sets. Um, yeah, I think that's it, man. I think we got them. Yeah, I mean we've we've talked about each one. Uh, not too many. Uh, not too many sets. I was kind of uh, I was kind of looking. I, I was I was doing some research and uh, I was looking at some Paradisa. Yeah. Dude, the Colts in that is so cool. The little baby horses. Yeah. I love those, man. Yeah, we got... This is a really cool catalog I found. It's in, like, almost perfect condition. And I found it upstairs. Uh, man, it's got some of the coolest stuff. This is the theme I was talking about, Jordan. <laughs> that, yeah. news, that, news, that news set from Outback feels like it should go in one of these. I agree. I always loved that. I always loved that semi that came with that. Uh, this one, because it looks like it was like it was like low, low, low to the ground. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Here's that plane, Jordan. Or uh, this is another similar build with that cylinder out front we were talking about with the same propeller yep. on it. Uh, you can kind of see that in that plane there as well. Um, yeah, the Paradisa stuff is fun, man. I love it. It's weird. Um, 
but it's like Lego Friends if they had like mini figures instead of mini dolls, which is makes it so much better. Yeah. Yeah, it's got it's got some pretty unique stuff, man. Some cool some cool stuff. These horses, uh there, the colt. That's the one I'm talking about right there. If you can see that. Yeah, it looks similar to the new one. It is similar to the new one. It's just a little flatter. Less like details on it. Yeah. But those are the old school Colts from nineteen like ninety seven. Um Yeah. There it is. That is the Outback. Yeah, that wraps the Outback. That wraps the Outback. Oh, we have a few comments in here. Let me, uh, I, I was going to see if some people had some comments about that random set I pulled up. JMS Bricks asked if it's still sealed. That one is. Yeah, that's why I'm like, I'm like, do I bust it open or find another one? Just part it I out. I think you should open it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm leaning towards that more, but, you know. I got I got other stuff I can build before I get into that. Um, airplane and boat. I think you found that, Andrew, that it was called airplane and boat. Yeah. Just because it's, yeah. <laughs> Brickster says, uh, original name, lol. <laughs> uh, he says, don't open it. JMS Brick says, don't open it. Uh, that's insane. So cool. Says, Chorange Bricks. Love the box art for it. Yeah, it's kind of unique. It's funny because it's like mountains on the front. And then it's like beach on the back with like a city in the background who knows oh maybe it's because it's a travel set so you know you're starting one way and you end up somewhere else probably reading too much into that <laughs> god jason that was like one one two three i mean three <laughs> clearly comes after two <laughs> gotta love the gators yeah and so if you kind of combine all of these sets or at least the ones you feel like fit in the theme you can kind of have a couple of those dark gray parrots, a couple of the, the gators, and it kind of fills out the world a little more, even though you didn't get yeah. ingos or koalas or anything like that. Still got some good animals in there. Yeah, be impulsive, open it. <laughs> Is that what we're seeing in the chat now? <laughs> I think you should open it right now. I'm not opening it right now. Break the <laughs> seal and dump it out. Not right now, man. I'll just be like looking at it after we turn off the video, like what have I done? <laughs> Maybe I'll do a video about it, though. I'm, I'm trying to get back onto YouTube, and I have some stuff planned for that. So maybe I'll do a video uh, opening it, doing something with it later. Uh, all right. Yeah, promotional release. Okay, yeah, that's it. I think that's good for the uh, cat. My wife says, not the sealed set. <laughs> Are you going to sell it? See, that's the thing. That's my justification for opening them. If I have sealed sets from the 90s, the only reason they're valuable is if I sell them. If I'm going to keep them forever in the box and never use them, never open them, never play with them, build them, then I should sell and get the money. So if I'm not going to sell it, which I'm not, then I should open it. If, if, you're, if you're selling a sealed set, then you're a sellout. Dude, I've sold sealed sets, but they were the ones I didn't want. Well, see, that's different. Yeah. Totally do a video. Yeah, that's Kat. She wants me to do a video. But you have other sets to open. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. We got plenty of time. We'll figure it out. Don't worry about it. <laughs> do it, says Tori Bricks. No, not on this live stream. It's not even an Outback set, right? <laughs> no, but I mean, I just wanted to see if you'd do it. <sighs> yeah. Well, uh, so that's been uh, Talking with Lego or whatever we call this show. See you next time. <laughs> <laughs> we won't force you to open up a sealed set uh, from yeah, 99. No. Uh, you can't, actually. So what do you think of that? I, I do want it out there. <laughs> um. Yeah, thanks so much for joining, everybody. That was fun. Outback, wild theme. Totally out there, but... Loved by a lot of people, though. It is. It is. Not as much as, like, say, you know, like Ice Planet or something, or Rock Raiders, where it's a little less known, but still, like, got the whole following. Um, it's a little more obscure to even those ones. Yeah. I mean, the sets were cool, but you didn't really get, like, a big one with it. No. No. Like That's a ranch, stuff. right? Like, you know, like, do you ever watch yeah. this, the Hugh Jackman Australia movie with the big ranch and the house out on the 
the open area and everything where he like shoots a kangaroo. I mean, I know what you're talking about. I also know the uh, the Max. You know the Max show? Mm, maybe. From, it, was like on, it was like on MTV and it was like this big purple thing with these big white claws out in front and it ran through the outbacks. Oh, I don't think so. That sounds hilarious though. <laughs> Dude, it was, it came on like after Beavis and Butthead on MTV like back, okay. way back. Back in the day, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Well, it's like Crocodile, I mean, Crocodile Dundee, right? We all know about, that's that's the movie, right? For this yeah, theme. Yeah, I mean, that, yeah. He yeah. never went to oh. the Amazon, though. Was he? But, but he was from Australia, right? Yeah, but he never went to the Amazon, is what I'm saying. Oh, right. Well, the stupid Amazon, I don't know why it's here, man. <laughs> we still didn't figure, we still didn't excuse that one out of the, the lore. We didn't get that one figured out. All right. Uh, yeah, so it's all good. Yeah, good live stream. Yeah, I had fun, man. Fun little, uh, fun little sub theme to talk about. Um, I have a couple of options on the table as far as what we might talk about next week. Okay. Um, I will reach out and see what your thoughts are on those. Yeah. Later. Sweet. Yeah. So yeah, just stay tuned, guys. We always we try to make it happen no matter what. I was feeling a little under the weather. You got stung by a dang bee. Like no, it was face. it was it was one of the red wasps. Yeah. Blew in my like truck today. today and stung me in the face. Right. Yeah. And I've been fighting a cold for the last couple of days. And we're like, should we do it? Yeah, we're going to power through. We're going to make it happen. So we try to do it every week if we if if we at all can make it happen. That's what we try to do. So um, yeah. we just got to bring you that content. and got to keep the grind going. <laughs> yep. So thanks so yeah. much for joining. Building an online archive. Yeah, man. I mean, it'll be here. So, yeah. Speaking of archive, uh, check out the other videos if you are new this time around and you want to hear more of us just jabbering on about different random Lego things. Uh, there's a whole slew of them on your YouTube. There's a bunch of backlog on my uh, videos page on my Instagram. You're totally welcome to uh, check those out, leave comments, you know, um, whatever you want to do with those. So they're they're out there for you guys to watch if you want to okay. take a look. Um, check out Check out your shop, man. Check out brickmonarch.com. He's got all Brick, kinds of good stuff coming out. Brickmonarchshop.com, yeah. Brick just, Monarch released, shop. just released the uh, Kingdoms shields and yeah. uh, shirt. Um, yeah. And again, we have a lot of new stuff coming out. Um, new releases this week, next week, the following week, and probably the week after that. Um, so yeah, yeah, I'm pretty so excited. I'm pretty excited to show the new products to people. So take a look at brickmonarchshop.com if you're interested in Lego novelty items, signs, banners, shirts. Uh, I'm wearing one that you custom made for me, Brick Stop right there, but they're all really, really great uh, quality shirts. We love them. Uh, and then if you're interested in some of the designs you see on my page, I've got a little PDF shop. You can download some instructions, try and build some of the stuff you see that I'm putting together. Try to keep those you know, one or two a month if I can get that happening too. So just keep posted on that as well. Um, yeah, thank you. God bless, says Draw3. Appreciate it, my friend. Thank you so much. Uh, nice one, lads. We have a great week. See you next time. See you later, Barry. Have a good night. Get some sleep. Yeah. Um, got the Black Thron shirt and the Black Falcon shirt. Appreciate it, my friend. Uh, Chornsbridge says, great I'm stuff, my God. Right now. You got the Black Falcon right there. <laughs> All right, <Classic> man. <laughs> yeah, it is classic. It's the good one right there. Well, All I right, appreciate well, it. Yeah, thanks, everybody, for joining. Yeah, well, well thank you, see Andrew. You next time. Thank you for talking. It was a good conversation. All right, man. See you, Jason. All right. See you guys.